Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a dual exposure effect. I've done something similar to this in the past, but hopefully you might learn something different from this video, and uh, each one's a little bit differently, so why not give you more help? Alright, so this is what the final effect is going to look like, so I'm going to go ahead and, and recreate it. But a couple things to note before you start are the pictures that you use. Uh, they don't have to be black and white, this one just happened to be. And I kind of think it looks cool in black and white, but they can both be color. But you want to go for a picture that's almost like a silhouette. So you see this one, it's got the silhouette of her and the background's like totally white. Something that has strong lines, that way it'll look cool when you put it one image and expose it over the top of the other and it'll kind of look you can still see the shape of the original person or thing but with the new image over top of it so this is my original photo here and one thing you can do to all your photos to make make them work better is go to image adjustments levels and if you adjust the levels a little bit to make them a little more contrasted by taking the most right slider and sliding it left and the left most slider and sliding it right you'll notice that it's gonna make it a bit more sharp and contrast so you wanna play around with it you don't wanna drag it all the way in so that it's like you lose all the detail but play around with it whatever you think looks good all you're trying to do is make your image have stronger lines so once you are happy with that, click OK. And the next thing you're going to do is go to Filter, Blur. And you're going to do Gaussian Blur. And you just want to use a very small radius. It, it can be different for your picture, but something around 1 to 3. This will help the image that we're going to put on top kind of pop out and clean up the lines of this image so that the, so that the image on top is what pops out. So I'm going to use two pixels for mine. Next thing you want to do is take the image that you've chosen. So I found a picture of this dictionary here with all these words in it. And drag it on top of your image that we just edited. So what you should have now is your image and then underneath that layer is your original picture. So positioning is one thing that's really important. Um, one thing I want to do so that you don't, so that you can see what this photo is, is I'm going to go to Edit, Transform. Well, I'm going to Edit Free Transform or Command T. And then I'm going to hold Shift and drag this down a bit. I just want to make it pretty, not pretty small, but I want to make both of my images around a similar size and the image that you put on top of the the original silhouette should be able to cover the whole thing without having space left like that so I want to cover the whole silhouette of this woman here and hit enter once you're happy with your positioning another thing you, you can do to make this image work better with the one underneath it is also go to image adjustments levels and again you want it to be a little bit more contrasted so that the two of them blend more starkly. Now you're going to set the blending mode of this image to screen. And that gives you your basic effect. What screen does is it pretty much takes whatever's on this image and kind of exposes them over the darks of the original image. So you see that all the light parts like her teeth and the white background don't really get overtaken, they still show. But everything that's light about the new image, like the white blank in between the space, will show through. But the black in this image will not show. So it creates a cool kind of multiple or dual exposure effect after that you can play around with the positioning command C or edit transform 
to play around with the size a little bit more and get it just, just how you like. And you can even adjust the opacity a bit if you if you feel like your original image was lost too much. So I'm going to do around 90% opacity. And then finally, I know mo both of my images were pretty much black and white, but if yours were in color, you can leave it like that and it might look cool. If you want to make it black and white, you can create a layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. And it'll automatically make it black and white and then you can adjust the individual tones of each color um, to make let's say the greens darker or lighter but I'm gonna leave it pretty much as it is you can even add a tint to the photo just a slight tint of color if you want and there's multiple ways to do that but you can do it right on the black and white adjustment layer so you can add like a slightly blue tint like that and just have fun with it really that's the basic effect you can really mix any two photos but the most or you can even mix more than two photos but after that it might get a little abstract but the basic idea is picking picking two photos that will work well together so the one underneath should be something that's really black and white like a silhouette of something and the one above should be something detailed like these words or you could do like city lights or rain and in the end it gives you a pretty cool effect um, hopefully you learned something from this video if you did please leave me a comment let me know if you had questions about anything or give me ideas for tutorials and future videos and as always please subscribe to my channel for future tutorials so thanks for watching and have a good day